All right, so today I bought this jug of 3.6 liters of 75% isopropyl alcohol. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some science here to find out if it's really 75% alcohol. So to do this, I've got a graduated cylinder, which I'm going to use to measure out 100 mils. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to also need to be able to calculate the weight of that 100 mils of rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to measure the mass of this graduated cylinder here. That's zeroed out. Let's put it on this one. And we got 228.48 grams. And let's just double check that here on the kitchen scale which also gives us 228 grams. Uh, so this is looking correct. Okay, so now we know the we know the mass of the empty graduated cylinder. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open this guy up. Oh, that was unexpected. I kind of expected this ring to normally these I expect this ring to break off and stay on the jug, but it didn't. Uh, what happened there? Hmm. Unexpected. So I guess that means if you just check this little ring to see if it's broken off, that doesn't tell you, apparently doesn't always tell you if it's new or not. Uh, there is a cap here to prevent spillage. Let me pull this cap out. Okay. Here we go. So now we're going to measure in 100 mils. Definitely over on the 100 milliliters here. Uh, let's recap this. Close it up. <clears throat> yeah, we're definitely over. Not a problem. I'm gonna pour some, I'm gonna decant some out into another container. Because I want to get. 100 mils for the ease of calculation here. Nope, still over. Still over. Getting close. Here. Oh, that's 102. Still need to get a little bit more out of this guy. Okay, that is looking pretty good. Okay. So we've got our 100 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. I spilled a little bit on the outside of this, so I'm going to wipe off the excess that I spilled on the outside, because I don't want that to affect my measurements. We'll use the digital scale over here again. Let that zero out. Okay, here we go. And it's telling us 313.94 grams. And we'll just cross check that with the kitchen scale. Which is telling me 315. That's probably within the margin of error. Uh, let's zero this one out again. 313.8. Nine. All right, so that's 
again within the margin of error. So let's set this aside here. And we've got some alcohol on the table. Let's move, let's wipe that off. Okay. So this means we've got to do 313.94 and take off the weight of the cylinder. Let's see. What's 313.94 minus 228.48? The answer is 85.46. Okay, 85.46 grams is the mass of the al of 100 gram of 100 milliliters of this isopropyl alcohol. And for us to do the calculation, well, we need to know what the density of isopropyl alcohol is. Okay, so now we're going to do some math here to figure out what our uh, alcohol percentage is. We're going to use Wolfram Alpha to help Wolfram Alpha to help us out. What's the density of isopropanol? Okay, so I'll write this down, 0 0.785 grams per cubic centimeter. Now for us to figure out, we've got to solve for x. Open parentheses, x divided by 100 times 0 0.785, close parentheses, plus open parentheses, 100 minus x, close parentheses, divided by 100, equals 0 0.8546. Let's see, that one is correct. Let's see what the solution is. Okay, so the computer's telling me that this alcohol is 67.62% uh, isopropyl alcohol. That's, you know, really, it's actually within the margin of error for our calculation because uh, we, est we, we measured uh, the 100 mils of alcohol weighed about, had a mass of about 85 grams. Uh, if we, if we're off by two grams or three grams, it could be 75%. Uh, let's actually just, uh, just for fun here, let's reduce this down to 83 grams per milliliter and see what the percentage would have been. So again, according to our initial estimate, we've got 67%. Yeah, see, so uh, if I'm off by two grams on the calculation, now it bumps up to 79%. So again, this is within the realm of accurate. It's definitely not, if it's off, it's not off by a huge amount, uh, the percentage of alcohol. So I'm definitely uh, happy with this one. I, I'm sure that, you know, nobody's watering it down by... 50% or something like that. If it were watered down by 50%, we would definitely notice it. And it would have shown up in this type of uh, analysis.